Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and as a Jesuit priest formed by the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius Loyola, our founder, I always like to create a mental picture of the Gospels when I read them. For example, today we have the scene of the apostles locked in a room after the crucifixion of Jesus. It's Sunday evening, and they've just heard from two other disciples that Jesus appeared to them while they were walking to a town near Jerusalem called Emmaus. Then, suddenly, Jesus appeared. You can just imagine how afraid, not joyous, they were. They thought they were seeing a ghost. And so Jesus had to demonstrate to them that he was truly risen and not a ghost or spirit. How did he do this? First, he told them to touch him because ghosts can't be touched. Still, they didn't believe. So what does he do next? I love this next part because I know a bishop who once joked that he had thought about using the next line of Jesus, a question to the apostles, as his Episcopal motto. You know, every bishop, including the Pope, has a motto that goes with his coat of arms, and usually it's a line from the scriptures. So what was the question that Jesus asked, which this particular bishop said he was tempted to use as his Episcopal motto? Have you anything here to eat? Jesus proves to his disciples that he's not a ghost by eating a piece of baked fish right in front of them. We weren't there, but we can imagine the scene as we pray over this gospel. And in doing this, may our faith in the bodily resurrection of Jesus grow stronger. For God didn't create us to one day be ghosts or pure spirits, but risen flesh and body, blood, just like Jesus'.